Hi, I'm Colin Smith from Photoshop Cafe, and today I'm going to show you how to create this double exposure effect, and we're going to do it all within some free Adobe apps. So the apps that we're going to be using today are Adobe Photoshop Mix, Photoshop Fix, Photoshop Lightroom Mobile, and we're going to finish it up inside Adobe Post. So all of these apps can be used together, or they can be used independently. They can all be downloaded for free from the App Store or from the Play Store. If you're a paid Creative Cloud member, you can sync these files with Photoshop and Lightroom Desktop. And you can even open the individual layers inside of Photoshop. We're going to start in Photoshop Fix. I'm going to bring in a picture from the camera roll just by hitting the little plus button there and choosing a picture here. This is a picture that I shot uh, backlit to create a silhouette. You could do the same thing with a sheet and then just put a light behind it and then capture it. But notice the sheet's a little bit small. I want to fill in some of the edges. So we're going to do that by hitting paint. The first thing we need to do is pick a color. So we'll grab the color picker and then just click on the edge there to select that color. Now we go back to the paint and then we're just going to paint around here. Now, if you don't see it, turn blend off and you can see what we're doing. So all we want to do right now is I'm just going to make the size a little bit bigger. I'm just going to fill in these edges. When you want to get in close, just pinch with your fingers and then we can get in closer. All right, we've more or less filled it in. We're just going to hit the check mark to apply it. Now, notice we've still got some cleanup work to do, and we can do this quickly by choosing Adjust. And now, under Adjust, we're going to just change a couple of things. Let's increase the exposure. Let's give it more contrast. Let's do that. And let's take the saturation, bring it all the way down because I want this black and white, and then just click the check mark to apply. Now, notice we've got some edges there. We want to clean those up. We're going to choose Light. And then we're just going to paint, and notice as we paint around there, it will actually detect those edges. And now we're just going to apply it. At this point, we can save this back to Lightroom Mobile. So let's just click Save to Lightroom, and this is going to save inside of Lightroom. Now we're going to go back, and we're going to go into Photoshop Mix, where we're going to finish this double exposure effect. So we just hit the little plus to add. Now what we do is we go down to Lightroom. And you'll notice under Lightroom Mobile, there's a category there for Photoshop Fix. And that's the image we just worked on. So I'm going to open that file. So now we're going to add a photograph. So to add a photograph, hit the little plus there, and that will add a layer. Now, I'm going to go under the Creative Cloud. I've got this saved on my Creative Cloud account. And I'm going to go to the Library Assets to my Creative Cloud Library. And under Photos, I'm going to grab a photo that I grabbed from Adobe Stock. Now, if you don't have this, you can just as easily grab a photo off your camera roll or from elsewhere. So let's grab this background there and click Open File. And now what I want to do is I want to make this fit. So I'm just going to just twist that around with my finger. So I'm just pinching with two fingers to position this. Now what we want to do is we want to show the guitar player, which happens to be me, uh, underneath. So what we're going to do is hit the Blend button. And under Blend, we're going to go to Screen Mode. And this will apply a Screen Blending Mode. Now a screen is the equivalent of taking two projectors and pointing them both at the screen. White doesn't do anything, but the darks start to blend together. So we're just going to apply that. And we've got somewhat of a, a nice effect. Now, you can always change this later by moving it around. And just refine that. And then when we're done, we're just going to go up here, and we're going to save this to Lightroom. Now we're going to go back to one more app, and this is Adobe Post. Now, this is going to change a little bit because this is actually a phone app. And uh, we're just emulating it on the iPad right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project here, or a new post. And I'm going to grab the picture from Lightroom. And we'll go to the Photoshop Mix, and we'll see there's our last one right there. 
And notice it has this cool little text effect appears there. That's actually pretty neat what's right there. Um, I kind of like that. I could double tap that and let's change the text to Rockin Adobe Apps. And notice you can just change your text. Now, if we just apply this, you can see that that's what we get. But if you click on design, there's a whole bunch of other designs that you can click in and you can check these designs and notice that your type just changes right there. Maybe we like something like that. And we can move it if we want just by clicking and dragging. Well, clicking and dragging just by tapping and dragging. And you can see that we can change different things too, like the colors. We can go in here and we can change these colors independently and do some different things like that. We can change the fonts and uh, and different things. Now the other thing you can do too is if you click on palette it will actually just take on whole new color panels and it will do styling there from these preset colors. Alright we have something that looks pretty good now but what we're going to do is just add a little hashtag. So to add more text just click on the little A up the top there and then I'm going to create a hashtag Adobe Photo Apps. So this is the hashtag we're going to do for sharing all our work on social media. So we're just going to click done and you can see there's Adobe Photo Apps there. I can always change the font to something a little easier to read. And we can resize it just by pinching it. And also let's move it down to the bottom there. And then just click OK. And to share it, what we do is we just click on the little tab. So here you could choose to message it, email it, or share it on social media, or even just save it to your library. So happy sharing. I hope you enjoyed this.